so we were late because we thought we were in the giant ballroom, like the really huge one where the keynotes are. Uh, that, that's not the case. Apparently, these are not quite that popular of sessions. <laughs> uh, my name is Matt Calgar. Uh, Max and I ran the selections for, for, this, for this session and series of sessions. Uh, I don't know if any of you know him. He kind of just wandered up and says he's a doctor or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm Max. Uh, as Matt said, sometimes I go by Dr. Max. But what's more important is that we ran um, so the, the set of presentations you're going to see in this session. So what we want to do for five to ten minutes is to kind of give you an idea of how we did this. Because I think what's fair is to make sure that not only you understand the process, but of course you give us some feedback. And I think a lot of you probably also submitted maybe some of you. So understand maybe why yours wasn't selected or maybe why yours was selected. So briefly, um, so I was introduced to Matt um, sometimes uh, last year, I guess, by the foundation and asking, hey, would you want to do this thing? And I mean, part of why, you know, sometimes I use Dr. Max as a surname is because I was in research, right? So being in research, I spent a fair amount of time running conferences. Uh, especially like uh, academic conferences. So I knew what I was getting involved in uh, to kind of lead a track because I ran entire conferences. One thing I wasn't ready for is the number of submissions. So for this track, even though the room is kind of sparse and hopefully people will be walking in, we had close to 300 submissions. I think it was like, yeah, two, 290, somewhere in there. Yeah, and of course, you know, usually in an academic conference, I would have an entire program committee, which you put together that would be like close to 30 people to review. Uh, wasn't the case here. It was just the two of us, pretty much. So what we did is to kind of look at the, of course, you don't submit the entire paper or an entire presentation. You submit an abstract. Um, so briefly, what we did is we used Google Spreadsheet and essentially um, reviewed every single uh, submissions. Every single One. submission. So if you submitted something, uh, you must have gotten some score of our review, but also some comment, because one of us did comment on every single one. So you think of 300, of course, a lot of late nights, especially towards the end, because you know we have day jobs as well. So, so that's kind of the process. I don't know if you want to add anything to this. Uh, to me, I think that the the, the hardest part of the process, or the most clear part of the process, was that you know, Dr. Max works for IBM, I work for Dell, and the most important thing that we can do is remember that this is a community event. And so the first thing that, that both of us did without even discussing it was to remove the submitter column. Uh, because that's, the, the value is in, the, in, in what's being submitted. And of course, in, with enough time in, in this part of the, the industry, you can probably figure out what some of these, where some of these people come from. But the most important thing is that, is, is that we really focused on making sure that we were evaluating things based on uh, what the abstract said. And we really had no other, in, other information than the abstract. So as a hint for the future, if you were submitted and you didn't get selected, I'm very, very sorry. Uh, if you submitted a minimal abstract, that was a that was a tough thing to deal with, okay? So really good abstracts mean better chances. Yeah. One more thing I'll mention about this um, anonymity, I guess, process that we try to do is that sometimes, just because I've worked with pretty much all parts of Cloud Foundry, I recognized a project. And um, in this case, you can ask Matt, I basically stayed out of it. And of course, uh, I in collaboration with another colleague from IBM had a submission too, and I stayed out of it. So you can rest assured that we were not voting for ourselves or for our company. So one more thing we want to do, I guess. Yeah, I, I think uh, there's, there's a whole ton of, I think, what, what did we have, 12 or 16 sessions that ended up making it through? That's right. Uh, I think that they are all really great sessions. There was the number of sessions that were sort of uh, above the bubble. We eventually ended up stack ranking things and picking what, what we could fit in. Uh, 
that being said, we all have our own interests and preferences and areas. And so to me, the two sessions that, that I think are fascinating that I will definitely not be missing. Um, the first one is a discussion of serverless kinds of architectures, functions as service kind of architectures within Cloud Foundry. Uh, to me, that is probably the single most interesting thing that is missing from the platform to me today. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that presentation uh, by, by Max and, and uh, one of his colleagues. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Nima. And uh, the other one uh, is dynamic tracing, the, that work being done. Uh, having uh, run a, a SaaS platform in the past, a very large one, uh, dynamic tracing or tracing through an entire stack was effectively impossible for us. So I'm, I'm looking forward to, to that one particularly as well. Cool. So uh, for me, there's a couple sessions that I want to highlight that I think are um, super interesting. So one is, uh, how many people here have looked or is looking into Kubernetes? Yeah, so it's kind of a hot topic these days. Blasphemy. <laughs> uh, so one of the cool things that's happening this conference, as you might have heard yesterday, is that Google uh, is helping out or joined as part of uh, the Cloud Foundry organization. And part of why they're joining is because they realize that, um, you know, Kubernetes doesn't do day two operations. And having spent a lot of time working with the Bosch team, I know what Bosch does very well. So the Kubo project is sort of this, let's take Kubernetes, let's Boschify it and make it easy to deal with day two operations. Uh, and I know a little bit about it, partly because not only having reviewed it, but also because they've submitted it to the extension uh, PMC, which I lead, and I got to spend quite a bit of time with them. So I would say if you are interested in Kubernetes, this is definitely a very good one to, to spend some time on. Um, I think probably that's the one I would highlight. So let's see if you guys have any questions, otherwise we'll start the sessions, right? I think that's the next part.